hello everyone welcome to financial impulse and in this video i will show you what is a false breakout with live example but before we get started let me tell you that i am not a sebi registered financial advisor please take your own investment and trading decision based on your own analysis so let's get started let me take you to the screen okay so this is the chart of dalmia bharat okay the time frame here is delhi let me switch to weekly time frame first okay so in one of my previous videos i have made on dalmia bharat i have shown you that it is currently in strong uptrend okay so let me draw some trend line first okay some support resistance line one is here okay there are some so many touches here as you can see in weekly time frame this is 1756 in the in that level you can see many touches here then here again one here then again here here again and here also okay and you can clearly see that on this um, support line we can see one bullish engulfing candle okay if you do not know what is bullish engulfing candle please do your own google search okay uh, in simple words if i tell you then bullish engulfing means that the op both the open and close of a green candle completely engulfs a prior red candle okay within its entire body so you can see that the open of this green candle is lower than the close of the previous red candle and the close of this green candle is higher than the open of the previous red candle so this is a bullish engulfing pattern it is a two candlestick pattern these two let me draw okay this is the one bullish engulfing so so the topic for today is a uh, false breakout so let me show you what is a false breakout here first let me zoom into daily time frame okay and in one of my previous videos i have uh, shown you the current status of dalmia bharat as i mentioned so let me just uh, tell you the basic important points first i will draw one trend line in daily time frame touching some of these levels okay okay the price here in this level is 1820 let's say okay you can see 1 2 then almost yeah 3 yeah so this is a valid trend line and one from this angle also okay so this is a triangle pattern getting formed so false breakout where is it you can clearly see that this candlestick this red one is sticking out of this pattern this triangle pattern and going down so at this moment the investors and traders might feel that the trend is changing and downtrend might start but if if you wait for the next day you can see that there is this green candle okay this green candle and then the upward movement the uptrend continues so this is called a false breakout where uh, you know people are tricked into thinking that the trend has changed but in the very next day it continues in the same direction so let me show you the triangle pattern formation starting from here you can see this is an high then low then high again here then low and here it has broken but again it has come up okay after uh, going down after giving a false breakout so this is a very dangerous situations and the investors might get tricked okay so how can you save yourself from a false breakout i will give you three important points okay first of all you have to look in the higher time frame okay you have to look in the higher time frame you can uh, spot this break of pattern this triangle pattern in delhi in delhi time frame but you have to ask yourself what is the primary trend primary trend means the trend which you can spot in weekly so let's go to weekly you can see that it is in uptrend strong uptrend you can clearly see by spotting the small number of red candles and small red candles okay but big green candles and more number of great green candles okay so you can clearly know that this is in strong uptrend and a breakout in the downside is obviously not possible in, in just one day it will take weeks for the trend to change from uptrend to downtrend okay so this is point number 1 check the time frame i mean check the price action in weekly second second is see 
where i mean after breaking the pattern the red candle where it is halting you can see again that it is halting on this previous resistance that means currently a support point you can see it has touched once here once here so it's a valid uh, support resistance line because it was acting like a resistance two times previously and now it has broken here and now it is acting as a support so obviously it is not a real breakout it is a fake breakout okay third first first of all notice the number of swings in any pattern okay if let's say the example of uh, head and shoulders triple top triple button uh, and other patterns that have uh, covered in this you know in channel so you will notice that there are always three swings okay but always the false breakout uh, happens in second not always you can say mostly okay the second only where people get tricked okay as you can see here let me draw this is high low and high here it is breaking okay in the second swing itself it has you know shown a break breakdown you can say breakdown here because uh, it is going in the downside so this is invalid because um, you know a pattern needs three swings mostly it takes three swings sometimes it gets more also four swings also okay but generally it's three okay so when you see a uh, you know break of pattern in the second swing itself you have to uh, you know confirm it by seeing what is happening in the next day and as you can see in the next day the trend continued in its uh, initial direction so to sum it up let me tell you the three main points how you can save yourself from false breakout number one is check the price action in, in weekly second when there is a breakout to confirm if it is real or not see where it is resting if it is resting on a previous support resistance line then obviously there is a high chance that it will continue its trend third check the number of swings that has occurred in any pattern that is formed that has formed recently from where the breakdown has taken place i mean currently it is an uptrend and you can see this red candle which is indicating that it will go down but see in which number swing this has happened this has happened in second okay mostly the false breakout happens in second swing also this is one you know key point keep this in mind it might not work always but it, it works most of the time i have seen as per my experience i have seen it happens in the second swing only okay so what i expect it to do is take one more third swing like this and go up this is what i expect it to do but we cannot uh, you know say this for sure until it actually happens so we have to wait and watch okay so these are the three points uh, which will help you to spot a false breakout and uh, which, which will also help you to stay cautious and not take any wrong decisions quickly okay without confirmation so uh, that's all for this video i hope this was helpful please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more such videos i'll meet you in the next one thank you and have a great day